And welcome back, guys, to Get Even. I am Shattered Organic, and let's continue on with the rest of the game. So, already I'm extremely, extremely confused, but that's pretty much how this kind of game goes, I guess. So, I'm waiting in Building B, as agreed. Signed, Red. Alright. So, apparently, uh, we've crossed over with Pokemon. Now, do I still... Right, I have no weapons. All I have is my phone, so... Ooh, hey, what's that? A bomb, a girl, Cole Black was there to save her. Interesting. I know I'm Cole Black, but I don't remember. Right. So, Building B. Okay, so that's Building A. Building D. There's an X over here. Is that where I'm supposed to go? Actually, I'm kind of curious with these... I didn't mean to scan. There's an X over here. that just signify a statue? Oh, there's evidence nearby. Oh, the, the bomb. DNA found. Female. 18 to 22 years of age. Huh? I guess we want to be heading this... Ah, there's Building B. Okay. Well, that's always fucking lovely. Thanks for... Trapping me inside. Is there a dead person under the bed? There's obviously some sort of evidence nearby. Robot toy? Nope. said there was no no evidence found all right down to two bars
Okay, well, there's definitely got to be something around here. Oh, it's like a prosthetic arm. Okay. Alright, electric chair or electroshock therapy. Right. More prosthetics. Alright, I need to go back to that room. I need to figure out what it is in here. That is evidence. Nothing being picked up on thermal. Oh, it is the prosthetic arm. Why didn't it? I scanned it for evidence before, didn't I? Oh, I literally have to get down on the ground. Okay. DNA found. One matching profile. Patient 912. Patient? Well, obviously we are in a hospital of some sort. You can't tell that. I mean, he might have amnesia or something, but... I mean, shit, even I know that... You know, wheelchairs, syringes, uh, hospital beds... <laughs> it's pretty obvious you're in a hospital, so there would be patients. Right, so we got that piece of evidence. Let's... Shit. Am I alone in here? No thermal readings in the area. Just me, then. Just you and the boob tube. Do I want to mess with that? Okay, just turn it off. Evidence. Oh, my God, oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> Thank you for that. I have to say one thing. I'm not scared of I'm not scared of mannequins, but they creep me the fuck out. Anything human like DNA found. One matching profile. Patient 219. Wait. What? I'm utterly confused. But anyway, as I was saying, I, I'm i not scared of mannequins. They just freak me the fuck out. And anything human-like, you know, whether it's a mannequin or like a porcelain doll, they creep me the fuck out. I used to be terrified of them when I was a kid, obviously for um, certain reasons that I won't go into detail with. They've just creeped me out ever since. So that said patient 219, and uh, that was the leg that we found over there. So is it saying that the mannequin is a patient? That is... It's quite disturbing.
Okay, so there's a hole there we can go through. Oh, what is that? Drugs won't help you. Need help? Don't wait. Call us. Is that a QR code? I wonder if that could actually be read, like, legitimately with a cell phone. Huh. Give me a second. I have a QR reader on my on my phone. Where the hell is my phone? Bear with me for one second. Open up my uh, QR reader here. If I can find it. Miscellaneous. Um. Well, I had a damn QR reader. Maybe I got rid of it. Hmm. Oh, wait, here it is. I found it. Alright, this will be interesting. Let's see if my QR reader actually picks up that QR code. Sadly, it is not picking it up. I think it has to do with the fact that the, when you get in really close with the camera on the phone, it like pixelates everything. That would be interesting, though, if um, if you could legitimately read that QR code, like as some sort of um, added bonus type thing. Right. So my guess is we got to go through that hole. There's still a lot of noise and stuff going on out here. <sighs> Although it's not looking like there's anywhere else to go. So, let's head through that hole. It is freaking dark. Fuck's sake, come on. footprints that are leading outwards. Uh, inaccessible door. Right. Breaker room. Nothing seems out of the ordinary in here. A 
locked. No knob. Fucking monkey. A symbol monkey. Alright, so he obviously was either trying to get out the window or was just peeking through the window. Oh yes, this looks lovely. Let's let's hop down to the basement. on the whole atmospheric sounds that are going on are really fucking with my head what the hell okay and the footsteps just end nice <laughs> <laughs> right, none of these doors have... Uh, right after receiving a text, press A to open it immediately. This is your fault. nearby somewhere. All these doors are inaccessible. Wait, this sort of looks like the bomb room. Like the room where she was with the bomb. No, never mind. It sort of did. How did I know? Oh, oh my god. S -s Somebody! What, what's happening? Help! Warning. Building circuitry unstable. Reset with breaker or fuse box. How did I see that? Those wires are probably warm. I could chase them back to them. I know where the breaker room is. Thank you. I was in there once already. <sighs> I knew that was gonna freaking happen. Is that a microwave? Oh. Just the symbol monkey falling over. Unexpectedly. Fucking symbol monkey. Oh shit, I have to pick a fuse box? Or can I just reset all of them? Vision app shows warm objects. Yeah, I know. It's the second one.
Oh, there's a combination to it, is there? Uh -huh. Why is there a freaking heartbeat going on? down here. All right, are you going to open this time? All right, and we're going to get locked in here now, right? No? All right. This is me. What's going on? Hello? Anyone there? Hey! Interesting. Right, so let's inspect these. Partial fingerprint found. Wait, this is all the evidence that I found. That's literally all the evidence that I found in the last... Something's not right. Old Black, uh, upon leaving the military seven years ago, it seems Black lost years of his life to alcohol and occasionally even drugs. In order to fund his lifestyle, he took a small scale security jobs where he began to develop something of a reputation. Word spread about his ability and willingness to fight should the situation call for it, which ultimately led to work as a contracted killer. Over time, Black left the alcohol behind in favor of the thrill of his new work. Those contracts pay well. Black seems to use the money only to gauge the importance of contract and the seriousness of the client. Psych reports suggest Black is a walking contradiction. Unable to kill without feeling wrought with guilt, yet only able to find purpose in life through killing. No known family or friends. Huh. Why was he there? Black. Please, apologies for the theatrics. It's all part of the treatment. Treatment? This will be far more straightforward if you just keep breathing. That's it. Good. What the? What the fuck? 
Hello? That's it, Mr. Black. Relax. Breathe. You're back with us. Minor confusion is expected. What? Who are you? What the hell is this thing on my head? Hey! Calm, Mr. Black. Black. That's all I ask. Your current confusion is a byproduct of your... Treatment. All very unfortunate, but I assure you, you are in safe hands. If it helps you focus, you may call me... Red. You... you gassed me. There was something before. Another place. That's why you're here, Mr. Black. But now is not the time for questions. Alright, well, I am thoroughly, thoroughly confused. And on top of that, I think I missed... I missed out on some evidence. Because I was up to three green dots, and then uh, the episode kind of ended. Or that area ended, anyway. So that's a bit unfortunate, I guess. Hmm. Right, but I think before I continue, I'm going to end this here. And I will see you guys in the next episode. So until then, guys, later.